Hello, this is a video about how to create a folder structure that lends itself well in analyzing your data using R. So first, you need to create a folder in your documents folder. So we'll call that here data underscore analysis underscore R. folder you go into that folder and create four subfolders so one of the folder we call it R the other data next one figures or figs figs and the last one we call it Docs. So we will keep keep all our, all our scripts inside the R folder, all our produced figures in the figs folder, all the necessary documentation for the analysis in the docs folder, and all of the raw data in the data folder. So once you've created this folder, then you can start R Studio. And you notice a few things. In this R Studio window, you see the top that this is not associated with any project, and this is not good if you are working on a big project or at a project at all, because then you would be placing your data in um, scattered to throughout your um, folders in your PC or within your desktop, and figures would be here and there, and then the, the analysis can get messy very quickly. So what you need to do first is to create a project that houses all of the information in your the needed the necessary information or data in a single location. So first you click on project and you create a new project. And here you choose because we created the folder just now, so we can choose existing directory here and then search for that file or folder that you created which is this one data analysis underscore R click on open and then create the project so now we have successfully created a project R studio project within the data underscore analysis underscore R folder so you can see here the folder that we create the subfolders that we created in the data analysis R folder folder and then if you open up that folder you notice that this file has been created this R project file so every time you need to restart your project you just need to double click this and then you would be ready to go with your analysis so that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one